Hi Techla users, welcome to Techla Tool and Test video. Today we will see how we can give the desired name to our plot file. For that, we need to go to the file setting and advanced options. Go to the search bar, write, write plot underscore file underscore name. Check in and search. Five options will become the first options. Define for assembly drawing print file name. Second C is for cast unit drawing. Third G is for GA drawing. M is for the multi drawing. And last is for W is defined for single part drawing. All are work in the same way. So let's take an example for the assembly drawing. You can see that uh, in front of this some values has been given and uh, these are the options which is enclosed by percentile so we can use the several options here i have listed the several options title drawing title revision revision mark these all are the options we can use in our plot file and every options will be enclosed by percentile so let's take an example how these things are work so i am taking the uh, name first Okay, how the name is work. So go to the here and paste it because it is the options and it should be enclosed with the percentile. Okay, so write to the file, apply. Okay, open the drawing list. Before print the file, let's check the member property. Uh, you can see the assembly prefix is set with the M. So, how it will work? Paint drawing. See, name. Because this member have an assembly prefix M and that's why it is coming with the M6. Uh, in the second time, let's take uh, the title. Go to the advanced options, paste it, and because it is in another options and it should also be enclosed by percentile. Write to the file, apply again, open the list because uh, we have given the title over here. And uh, before that, if you, you want the title name in your plot files, you need to give the name to your assembly drawing property and whatever the name you will be give it will be reflected in your plot file name okay so i have placed a plate print drawing see plot file name is coming m6 plate sometimes we need some gap or some separations here to separate these two value so you need to write some string value in between the two percentile if i'm right here i'm writing the dash dash whatever you are writing you it will be reflected here and remember it is the string value only it is not an object Double percentile symbol is coming in between the two options. Okay, you can also use the user defined in your plot file. Let's copy it. I'm going to use the user defined, so it should be enclosed because it is also an option, it should be enclosed with the percentile symbol. So the text UDA in column is necessary and this which is enclosed by the angle should be replaced by your user defined what you are going to use in your plot file okay so i am going to use uh, user defined one user defined one i have set the galvanized value over here so i will use the user defined one so 
go to the net notepad and take the attribute drawing user define underscore one and uh, replace this variable from your user define drawing underscore user define underscore one okay write to the file apply let's print it you can see that it is coming with the galvanize okay also you can set the template value paste it and show it with the percentile symbol and uh, go to the property I am going to use title 3 and I have set the value inside that and I want this value in my plot file so what I will do I will replace this value I will copy title 3 and replace this attribute from the title 3 ok write to the file apply print see plate calvinize temp underscore well ok it is now I want to separate every option with the dash so I will write the string value here and write to the file Next. print you can see that every value every option is separated by the dash symbol please stay connected with me to see second part to this video for another example thank you for watching the video thanks